Ashton Kutcher spoke in front of the Foreign Relations Committee in the Senate on Wednesday, and wow, uh, it was about a 15-minute speech, and if you haven't seen it, you need to. Um, I will show clips in this video, but it's a very eye-opening thing to a problem I had not really been aware of, and I almost feel bad for not knowing about this until now, and it's about child and sex trafficking in the US and abroad. Now the reason why he was on the Senate floor giving this speech was to encourage the government to fund part, part of his uh, program initiative called Spotlight. It's uh, some kind of software he would not get into very detailed specifics about what exactly it does other than locates and finds these predators or these molesters or these human traffickers within a very short window of time and he actually goes on to give some examples here in the video so I took a little bit of it and I want to show it to you when you come back we'll talk about it I'd like to tell you a story about a 15 year old girl in Oakland we'll call her Amy Amy met a man online uh, started talking to him a short while later they met in person Within hours, Amy was abused, raped, and forced into trafficking. She was sold for sex. And this isn't an isolated incident. There's not much that's unusual about it. The only unusual thing is that Amy was found and returned to her family within three days using the software that we created, a tool called Spotlight. And in an effort to protect its capacity over time, I won't give much detail about what it does, but it's a tool that can be used by law enforcement to prioritize their caseload. It's a neural net. It gets smarter over time. It gets better and it gets more efficient as people use it. And it's working. In six months, with 25% of our users reporting, we've identified over 6,000 trafficking victims, 2,000 of which are minors. This tool is in the hands of 4,000 law enforcement officials and 900 agencies. And we're reducing the investigation time by 60%. This tool is effective, it's efficient, it's nimble, it's better, it's smarter. So yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of benefit to what this guy's doing. And I just wanted to do some of my, some of my own research after I saw that because like I like I said earlier, didn't have any idea about it being such a big problem in the U.S. So here are some numbers taken from a few different agencies over about the last 10 years during different studies. So 22,191 sex trafficking cases in the U.S. One in six endangered runaways reported to them were likely sex trafficking victims. There are 4.5 million people trapped in forced sexual exploitation globally 4.5 million people man. so yeah as you can see there's a lot of benefit to what this guy's doing and i just wanted to do some of my, some of my own research after i saw that because like i like i said earlier didn't have any idea about it being such a big problem in the u.s so here are some numbers taken from a few different agencies over about the last 10 years during different studies so 22,191 sex trafficking cases in the u.s one in six endangered runaways reported to them were likely sex trafficking victims there are 4.5 million people trapped in forced sexual exploitation globally 4.5 million people man that's amazing the underground sex economy ranged from 39.9 million in denver colorado to 290 million dollars in atlanta georgia so atlanta is actually known as the worst place for sex trafficking crimes in the u.s 290 million dollars a year that's insane so not only is that terrible but here's some other facts for you guys and I'll hopefully get through these pretty quick 
So victims of sex trafficking can often be U.S. citizens, foreign nationals, men, women, children, you name it, um, LGBTQ. Nobody is safe. Vulnerable populations are frequently targeted by traffickers, including runaway and homeless youth, as well as victims of domestic violence, sexual assault, war, or social discrimination. Now, this was all taken from um, the Polaris Project's website. They are a, another organization that runs with Ashton Kutcher's Thorn, and they are the ones that provided the um, statistics I mentioned just a minute ago. And, um, yeah, so under U.S. federal law, I mean, the age of consent is 18. Some places it's younger. But any minor under the age of 18 under federal law induced into commercial sex is a victim of sex trafficking. So, obviously, if you live somewhere where prostitution's legal and you're 17, that's considered sex or uh, sex trafficking. Regardless of whether or not the trafficking is forced, fraud or co coercion um, a lot of times you know people get talked into prostitution especially girls who are kicked out early on the street they see you know prostitution is an easy way to make money and come up and man this is just a really heartbreaking thing to have to cover but like I said this is really eye-opening for me and I hope you go through and watch this video now if there's anybody you know or if there's anything you want to report, there's a National Human Trafficking Hotline. It's 1-888-373-7888. And you can also contact the Polaris Project by texting BE FREE to 233-733. So, like I said, if you have any anybody you can think of, if you yourself are in a situation, where you feel like you might be a trafficking victim or were coerced into doing something against your will, please give these people a call. Please reach out to a friend or find some way to get help. And hopefully people like Ashton Kutcher will continue to provide help to those who can't give it to themselves.